being able to witness so many lives being changed and so many just like miracles happening was something that I will truly like never forget. Being a student leader this year has been like just such an, an amazing experience. They've taught me as much as I've taught them. Like it's so awesome being able to kind of shepherd along these students while also being shepherded myself. And so it's really cool just we're all just kind of working towards one goal and that's kind of showing BA and everyone around us the glory of God. And so it's been really awesome to kind of teach people what that looks like and how we're supposed to kind of go about that. Tuesday, I was feeling like a little tug, but I wasn't sure, so I was just waiting. And then Tuesday night's worship, it hit, and I like really felt it, but I needed to talk to Pastor. And then Wednesday morning, me and Mason went and found Pastor. And he told me, he was like, just think about it for the rest of the day. And I did, and he helped me point out some stuff that I need to get rid of, need to stop doing. And I feel like I'm ready to, like he says, die and then be born again in Christ. So I just felt like it was time. It feels like good, like peaceful, and like somebody else has control over my life, but it's like a good control instead of somebody just controlling you. It's hard to explain, but it's a really good feeling. Well, I've had like a lot of like bad, very, definitely not very good things happen in my life. And I never really thought about Jesus or God, never thought that they were there. I thought that things were happening because of them. So okay, I was taking my anger out on them when really I should have been like talking to them and saying things happened for a reason. Pastor Chris was talking and he was preaching about God and like how like he had, if he was there, he would be like hugging on your heart, knocking on the door. And that's when I felt the gut feeling and I was like, whoa, this, I can, I feel him. And I didn't know what to do, so I just stood there. I was like, maybe it's just, you know, maybe it'll go away. And then it happened again and again and again. And I was like, I, gotta, I have to tell someone about this. So I went to Sherry. She, we talked for a while. And that's when I was like, I think I'm ready to give my life to Jesus Christ. And that was like the best feeling I've ever felt. I felt it was like, fuck, I was released from all my pressure and everything I've been through. And it's like, he was there and he will be there. And I, realize that and it's it's amazing I love it for the past few years I've kind of just been coming here and being a student like everyone else but I got kind of tossed into a leadership role this time and I've had to step up and kind of lead a group of kids that I don't usually talk to a lot so it's been fun figuring out how to do that a little bit the power of prayer has kind of been made apparent to me over the past week um, used to just kind of do it because I felt like I needed to, but now I realize what it can do. So definitely something kind of eye-opening. It's been pretty fun. I think I've gotten closer to God and I've made new friends and I'm going to read my Bible more because of this experience. I just, I feel closer to God. And I think that's what's overwhelming. It's just like, I can't process everything. And um, like reading my Bible every day for like, long, like a long period of time, that it feels like it flies by really fast. And that's also really cool. I feel a lot more relieved. Like I know that I don't have to carry all of those burdens by myself, that He has control of it and that I don't have to worry about this anymore. And that whatever I have, I can just, like whatever worries or burdens that I have, I can just ask Him to help me relieve those burdens and He'll be right there and He can relieve them for me. I felt like I needed to resurrender my life. And I just felt like recently I have just understood so much more about it since the spring retreat. I've just understood so much more about the Bible and about God than I did. And um, I wanted that relationship and I wanted to grow closer with God. And so it was just kind of like a surrendering moment that like, God, you use me, you do whatever you want with my life. I feel like now I was getting to know 
more about him and I felt him tugging at my heart. So I went with it. It's easier to, when you go to camp to like forget about God and have fun. But it showed me that it's fun knowing God and you can have fun at the same time.